Today we are going to learn about LCM. So the full form of LCM is least common multiple. If I put it in simple terms, it's least common multiple. So it's a subse chota, the smallest common which is there in every factor that multiple. Now let's understand what is a multiple. Multiple is any number which can be divided by any other number without leaving a remainder. So for example, 6 is a multiple of 2. How? 2 into 3 is 6 or 3 into 2 is 6, right? So you divide 6 by 2, you'll get no remainder. You divide 6 by 3, you'll get no remainder. So 6 is a multiple of 2 as well as 3. Now, today what we are going to do also is we are going to learn the common division method which is a very easy method for all of you to learn to find out the LCM, to find out the least common multiple. So on the board, you will see many things, some numbers are there. So let me start by finding the LCM of 2 and 3. So when we do a common division method, we do it like this, we put a 2, we put the 3 and then we take a prime factor, a prime number which can divide any of these numbers without leaving a remainder. So let's, 2 will divide 2, yes, no remainder will be left. So you will write the quotient here, 2 into 1 it's 2. 3 will come down as it is. So can 2 divide 3? No. But 3 can divide? Yes. So 3, this 1 will come down like this and 3 1s are 3. Now what will be the LCM? The LCM will be 2 into 3 into what is common here? 1. Or you can, if you want to write 2 1s you can but that will be the same thing. So the LCM will be 6 of 2 and 3. So I repeat, take a prime number, try to divide any of the numbers with that prime number and divide it in such a way that no remainder is left. So 2 would divide 2 one time without leaving any remainder. 2 would divide, not divide 3, but then 3 has to be carried down. So 3 will divide 3 and then you multiply everything. Right? Now, let's take Another number, 7 and 14, smaller numbers, 7, 14, okay, take a 7, no, 14 is here, so it's an even number, any even number, remember can be divided by 2 without leaving a remainder, so 2 how many times 14? 7 times 14. And what comes down? 7. Can 3 divide any of these numbers? No. The next prime number 5? No. But 7? Yes. How many times? 1 time and 1 time. So 2, so LCM will be 2 into 7 into 1. Even if you don't write into 1, it's alright. 2 into 7 is 14. So the LCM is 14 of 7 and 14. Now some of the students, they make a mistake. They make a mistake where they are asked to find the LCM, they try to multiply both the numbers. If you multiply 14 into 7, you will not get a 14, right? It will give you some other result. So please remember, you cannot do that. Now, the next set of numbers that we have is 9 and 14. So, 2 can divide 14, how many times? 7 times. 9 will come down like this. 3 can divide 9, yes. How many times? 3 times. Right? So, I said, write the quotient here. And 7 will come here. Still 3 will divide this. 1 time, 7 will be there. 7, 
one time, one time. So what will be the LCM? 2 into 3. Now you cannot say because 3 is there, common, you cannot leave out one 3. You have to put both the 3s. 2 into 3 into 3 into 7. Now, if I were you, what will I do? I will first multiply this. 3 into 3 is 9. So 2 into 9 into 7. Then, what would I do? I would multiply this. 9 to the 18 and then 18 into 7. Even if you don't remember the table of 18 into 7, what can you do? For 18 into 7, use Vedic paths. 7 on the 7 and 1 is in the tens place. So 70 and 7 8s are 56. Add both of them. Right? So what is the answer that you get? 126. So the LCM of 9 and 14 is 126. The only thing that you have to remember children over here, you should start checking with the smallest prime number and then keep on moving ahead with all the prime numbers till you in the end get a 1 and a 1. Right? So that's how you'll be able to find the LCM very effectively using the common division method. Now we will apply this knowledge of LCM into adding and subtracting of fractions unequal fractions, right? The fractions which are not equal, where the denominators are not equal. So we'll apply this knowledge there. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you.